Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. And today, I was right. I was right, and all you doubters were wrong. Not that I had really any doubters, because we had the data leaks. It's just that we didn't actually know when new content would drop, because we are in the midst of Golden Week, or the beginning of Golden Week in Japan. That started literally yesterday, and so, who was going to drop the content? A bot? Some poor, poor intern that's stuck at the office waiting for all the inquiries to say my game is still broken? I don't know. We weren't sure if they were even going to drop anything this coming week. But just a couple minutes ago, we did get a new information preview, so 5-2 new content info. So events starting 2 a.m. UTC on Monday, which is Sunday night at 7 p.m. Pacific time for me. We are getting the Predator Battle for the Ryuzen Contest of Dragons event, and this will have the new um, new system of only dropping the circle enhancement skills for everybody, and you can now you will be able to buy the rainbow enhancement skills for Frey in the exchange shop, which is again a much better way of doing it, much much better. I I greatly greatly appreciate that quality of life update. Uh, next is Carrion. Carrion is the next banner unit, as as you know, shown by the leaks. Um, be interesting to see what his kit looks like. I don't think we have a teaser on Twitter just yet, but I will search for it right now just to make sure. Um, no, I do not see anything on Twitter regarding Carrion. So maybe we'll get a teaser for him at like four in the morning my time tomorrow and it'll have his first skill but currently the only thing we know about him from his current model in game is that he is a single target alt which if that remains the case that would be incredible because that means we have Frey, Space Millum, and this new Carrion is new single target uh, damage dealers for space which we already know is a pretty crack team like they could not drop another banner this month and I'm pretty sure uh, the space team is set. So, very excited to see what Carrion does. And of course, he brings him, brings with him his uh, own special tickets. So I expect this to be like 1,200 crystals, 5 tickets, and 200 hot pot. That's pretty standard across the board. And then we also have upcoming Heroes Jubilee Blitz against Octagram Guy. So it's time to get sweaty, everybody. It's time to sit down, waste a few hours or more of your life, depending on how sweaty you want to get. But the next Jubilee is coming, and you bet your ass that we're going to go hard. But I am interested to see, because of Veldora, this is type neutral, so you can use any team. Because of the power creep that Protector Vel uh, Veldora has introduced and that 10% stacking, will overkill damage still be a thing? Will it not really matter? Will the turn bonus now take into effect much more harshly because you could probably sit in jubilee and stack forever or as long as you can live and then just nuke the crap out of guy and get a million damage i don't know we're gonna test it out though you bet your ass i'm gonna test that out uh so yeah that's it for tomorrow which honestly is fine because predator battle is is enough content for me to grind a new banner so i will be summoning tomorrow night for carrion. I've got 7,200 crystals before I buy anything. And then the predator battle is good. Because then I can just enhance carrion skills up. Uh, but there is also something in here. There is the rice ball quest that will go up at the same time as carrion. Um, the fruit event leaves in a couple hours from tonight. And the next food event goes up immediately, which is nice. Sometimes there's a gap. Sometimes there's not. Um, this is just another free, what, 75 crystals and Get healing potion times 20 in the login mission on now? What? What? New login mission? Is it... Is it limited? Okay, well, we'll figure that out later. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I guess we're going to get 20 potions just for funsies. 
And the next event starts on 5-5, five, five. so ooh, very short. Very, very short. We're going back to back to back then. All right, and then the last thing that was actually announced this morning, but I didn't cover it because I didn't really feel it needed a video, is this extra Isekai Revelry sale. And we're commemorating the Revelry by having a sale on Magic Crystals. The following items are available. Uh, pack E, F, and G, which doesn't really tell you a lot until you go into the shop. And it is the large, larger packs. So Magic Crystals, Revelry sale, still 80 bucks, but you get an extra 500 crystals for free, technically. And you can buy that twice. So, you know, you buy two packs, you get 3,000 crystals, which is a pity. Which is a lot better than spending 400 something dollars on a pity. So we're looking good already. And then the F pack is 40 bucks and that gives you 600 instead of 450. And then the E pack is 350 instead of like 125 or something, 275. Or 40, okay, yeah, here's here's the, the normal stuff. But yeah, and then I still have to buy Oh, this pack. I should not buy that after this video. And I still have to buy these packs, too. And I still have to buy the Earth Coin pack. Like, I have so much crystals left on the table in the shop that I can easily probably get back up to, like, 12,000 crystals tomorrow, along with the other ticket packs. So that'll be fun. But that's it for the news update, everyone. Uh, Jubilee, Carrion, Predator Battle, Rice Ball Quest. Coming tomorrow, 7 p.m. Pacific Time. I will be streaming. But that's it for me, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you later.